You are always welcome at East Africa's best language school, Swahili Dar Language School in Tanzania. Swahili? Na, uh, leo tunajifunza, tunaendelea, we continue, tunaendelea kujifunza introduction of non-class. Uh, sasa unajua vizuri kusema singular na plural of these words. Unajua. Na uh, pia tulijifunza, tulijifunza subject prefixes. Subject prefixes. You remember I told you, it's very, very important uh, to learn them, uh, to memorize this, to memorize these subject prefixes. Why? Because they are so helpful when for this topic and for other topics. Because they are so helpful for this topic and for other topics. See here, I want to show you something here. You know, because we learn it, more than class, we did learn it together. So, you tell me, how do you say this for more than class? And how do you say these for more than class? We say who you for this and how are for these. Uh, we say yule for that and wale for those. But how do we say this, that, this, and how do you say this and these for things, for these words? How do you say that and those for these words? Eh? How will you say that? Because you have subject prefixes, it will be, it will be so easier to know uh, how, to, how to do uh, this and these for things. You wanna know it? Okay, I'll show you. Ah, to say this and this for me, kivi, jima, enen, and yuen, first of all, you need to memorize this again. I said it over and over because it's very important. Okay, now you see, you see um, who you, we have, H there. How we also have H there. H is there for who you and how. So, for to say this and this, this and this, this and this, this and this, this and this for uh, these other noun classes, we will also have a H for. We will have H here. We are going to have H here. We are going to have H all the way. Then you need just to double these subject prefixes. You double them, especially when they are vowels. You need to double these subject prefixes. Eh? Especially um, you double the, when they are vowels, like uh, to say this is a town. You say, who ni mji? This is a town. Who ni mji? This a town will be he ni miji. You see that? Who ni mji? He ni miji. How do you say this is a plan? It will be who ni mpango? This is a plan. These are plans. It will be he ni mipango. This is a river will be who ni mto. These are rivers will be he ni mito. Mito. You see that? Eh? And how do you say this is a restaurant? Will be who ni mgahawa. These are restaurant, you tell me. He Ni migahawa. Tell me, tell me, continue, tell me. How do you say this is a mango tree? It will be who ni muembe, muembe, this one, muembe. These are mango trees, will be he ni miembe, miembe, miembe. You see that? Do you understand? So, very important to remember the subject prefix because you will just double it when you want to say this and this for minimum class. You double it and you have H there. You will have H for all of this. Every time you want to say this and this, you know that H should be there. And then you need to remember the subject prefix of that noun class. If 
you remember this subject prefix, it will be very easy. Let's see for KV non-class. For KV non-class, for KV non-class, to say this and this will be, um, we have H, and uh, we have a consonant and the vowel. We will double, we'll just double the vowel back. So we'll have he, ki. He, ki is this for KV non-class. This will be, we double back the vowels, so we'll, will be he the you see so when we have just the vowel we double it and when we have the consonant in the vowel we double back the vowel we double back the vowel we double back the vowel you see that so um that is how we do uh, say this and these for kivin on class hiki and hivi huh? And uh, how do you say hiki and hivi? And how do you say um, this is a village in Swahili? It will be hiki is ni kijiji. Kijiji is the village. So hiki ni kijiji. And how do you say these are villages? It will be hivi ni vijiji. These are villages. Hivi ni vijiji you see that and how do you say this is a potato in swahili this is a potato will be hiki ni kiazi and these are potatoes will be hivi ni viazi you see that how do you say these are books in swahili will be he will be Hivi ni vitabu. These are books. Vitabu. Hivi ni vitabu. You see that? And how do you say this is a book? Will be hiki ni kitabu. Okay, now tell me this is a knife. How do you say this is a knife in Swahili? Pause the video, write it down, and say it. Play the video. This is a knife will be hiki ni kisu. Knife, the hiki ni kisu. And how do you say this is a food? Will be hiki ni chakula. Chakula is a food. And how do you say this is a college? Hiki ni chuo. Eh? And how do you say these are beds? Will be hivi ni vitanda. You know that? You see that? It is easy. You agree with me? It is easy. And how do you say? For Jima, eh? then for, then let's see how do you say this and these for Jima non-class. For Jima non-class. You remember? Jima non-class, we said li, ya are our subject prefixes. You need to remember them every time. Because when you want to say this and these, you need them. And uh, do you remember what I said? I said we have, we will always have H first. We will have H here first. And then what do we do? You know it. You double the vowel back, the L. So you will say Hilly and ha, you double it here. You make it here. Higher. So Hilly and higher. So Hilly is this for. All the words belong to G man on class. And higher are these. For all words belong to G man plural. Plural noun class. G man noun class. Plural. You see that? Healy higher. Healy higher. You need to remember that. So now, how do you say this is a car? Will be Healy ni. Gari. These are cars will be haya ni magari. So how do you say this is a question will be hili ni swali. These are questions will be haya ni maswali. These are questions. You see that? And how do you say? How do you say um this is a mango? That will be hili ni 
embe these are mangoes higher ni maembe you see that do you, do you do you get it okay now tell me how do you say this is the answer pause the video hili ni jibu and these are answers will be higher ni majibu huh? you see it it's very easy it's very very easy to remember and how do you say this is an orange will be hili ni chungwa these are oranges will be higher ni machungwa machungwa you see it and how do you say this is the avocado will be hili ni parachichi and these are avocados will be higher ni ma parachichi you remember for fruits probably ma 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 eh? that is how uh, we say this and this for jima non class let's see for nn nn is easy non class very easy easy non class eh? it's very simple it's very easy easy non class nn so tell me how do you say this and this for any non-class you say i write mm -hmm. what did you say ah it is h first and then we double it so it's he is this and this how do you say this this will be ah say it okay we double back uh-huh so he is he you see so this is he this he is he so how do you say how do you say this is a school in swahili will be he ni school shule yes he ni shule these are schools will be he is he ni shule these are schools see singular and plural will be the same in any non class but these agreements differentiate them from the agreements we understand that this sentence is plural and this sentence is singular from this and this see but uh, you cannot see if it is singular or plural because surely surely eh? meza meza so how do we say this is a table and so here will be he ni meza these are tables will be his ni meza hmm? how do you say this is a bicycle in Swahili. That's too easy, of course. He ni bicycle. These are bicycles will be his ni bicycle. You see that? Do you see that? That is how we uh, make singular and plural for any non class. And how do you say this is a house? Will be he ni nyumba. These are houses will be his ni nyumba you see that eh? this is a coffee he ni kahawa these are coffees will be his ni kahawa eh? do you understand and let's see how you make this and this for you and non class for you and non class you need to remember we will only have for especially this and this here you have you need to remember that in group number one you have single and plural group number two you have single and plural group number three you don't have plural you only have singular these are only in singular eh? you don't have plural um for group number three in ua non-class you see that these are abstract and and uh, you should very you should know this uh, it's very important information uh, most of these words in the UN non class are abstract nouns. And you can find your abstract noun just by putting U, especially when you know the word, because like Rafiki, you know, Rafiki is a friend. And friendship will be U Rafiki. I don't want to talk about that because I explain a lot in Introduction of Non Class Part 1 video. So now, just want to show you how we do singular and plural in this topic is h first don't forget that who and uh, 
what he you see who and he so how do you say this is electricity don't touch it don't touch it this is electricity my friend eh? how do you say that eh? that will be who ni electricity in swahili umeme who ni umeme don't touch it eh? usiguse don't touch it who ni umeme usiguse hmm? don't touch it and you cannot say these are electricities maybe you can say that sentence in english but in swahili that sentence will only be who ni umeme eh? and how do you say this is a good neighborhood will be who ni ujirani jirani is a neighbor neighborhood will be ujirani mzuri who ni ujirani mzuri you will say that sentence and how do you say this is a soil will be who ni udongo who ni udongo and how do you say this is a broom in swahili will be who ni ufagio this is the key will be who ni ufunguo and these are keys will be hizi ni funguo 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 plural ufunguo singular funguo plural you see that and how do you say these are brooms will be hizi ni fagio you see that this is a song will be who ni wimbo pause the video every time i say this is something you pause the video <laughs> you pause the video uh, you and uh, you hear you say it first every time i say this is something you pause the video you say it and then you play it or you pause the video you write it down and then you say it and then you play it you see it okay now how do you say this is a thread will be who ni uzi and these are threads will be hizi ni nyuzi 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 there you see that i hope you understand that don't forget it eh? how to do this and this in swahili is very simple you know how i did it and now i want to teach you how to say that and those in Swahili, that and those. In Swahili, you remember in Mwanon class, we said that and those, we said yule and wale. I hope you understand how to uh, say this and this in Swahili. Now, let's learn how to say that and those, that and those in Swahili. Before that, before I show you how to say that and those, for things for Miki Vijima N N and U N, you remember because we did it already when we did Mwanon class. It's very important to start learning Mwanon class so that you understand how these things goes. In Mwanon class, um, we say that is Yule, and uh, Wale is those for people and animals only, not for things. For things we are going to learn it today, but for people and animals that is a cook that is the teacher that is a, a dog that is the lion in swahili you will say yule for that and uh, wale for those and today i'm going to teach you how to say that and those for minon class let's start with minon class do you see for umwa we had what in common we had le there and also we had le I want to tell you something. For all non-class there, for all other non-classes, you will have something le. Something le. What is that something? That something is the subject prefix. You will have your subject prefix and le. So ule is that for me non-class. And ile will be those for me non-class. Those, every time you want to say those, you say Ile, that ile for mm, me non class. So, how do you say that is a bread? In Swahili, it will be ule ni mkate. 
that is a river will be ule ni mto those are rivers will be ile ni mito that is a project will be ule ni mradi those are projects will be ile ni miradi do you understand that that is a tree that is the tree those are trees in swahili will be ule ni mti where is my tree mti and those are trees ile ni miti that is a coconut tree will be ule ni mnazi mnazi is a coconut tree and those are coconut tree will be ile ni minazi that is an orange tree will be ule ni mchungwa those are orange trees will be ile ni michungwa eh? that is the mango tree ule ni mwembe ile ni miembe those are mangoes tree you see that and how do you say that is avocado tree that is an avocado tree will be ule ni mparachichi and those are an avocado trees will be ile ni miparachichi see that and how do you say that is the pineapple plant will be ule ni mnanasi and those are pineapples plant will be ile ni minanasi you see that that is swahili how to say that and those for mm me noun class this will get easier don't say don't think it is very difficult because you just have that and uh, you just have that and those in english but we have too many different while you speak you hear people speak you make this practice and uh, you understand the words and try to make these sentences we'll do uh, these exercises there it will get easier the more you speak it the more you practice the easier it gets i promise and uh, how do you say how do you say um that and those for kivin on class for kivin on class will be that will be kile and those will be vile that kile those vile you see that and how do you say that is a room that is the room or that is the bedroom will be kile ni chumba those are rooms vile ni vyumba that is a university will be kile ni chuo kiku and those are universities will be vile ni vyuo viku those are toilets will be vile ni vyo those are toilets vile ni vyo and how do you say that is the mirror kile ni kio those are mirrors will be vile ni vyo so don't mix between a mirror and a toilet mirrors and toilets because it's vyo a mi mirrors will be vyo 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 you don't hear the difference you need to be very careful there i will say v first and o v o here you will say it once vyo for toilet vyo see that okay and how do you say that is a spoon it will be kile ni kijiko those are spoons will be vile ni vijiko if i go fast you pause you pause when i say how do you say this you pause it and you say it first and then you play it okay and uh, that kile those vile for kivi non class so now how do you say uh, what do you say for g non class that and those that and those will be you know that you know uh, so this is our subject prefix so we write it down li and we know le should be there to say that and those always so lile and yale ya should be there because it is our subject prefix for jima and le should be there yale so eh, to say that is a city will be lile ni jiji that is the big city lile ni jiji 
kubwa eh? and those are cities will be yale ni majiji yale ni majiji those are mangoes will be yale ni maembe those are mangoes eh? that is a fruit that is a fruit will be lile ni tunda lile ni tunda those are questions will be yale ni maswali that is the car will be lile ni gari how do you say if you want to say that is a milk or those are milks in swahili we just have plural of that sentence so that is a milk will say yale ni maziwa if you want to say those are milks we we'll say yale ni maziwa you have milk and milks in english ah, you know that i don't know i'm not good at in english ah, yale ni maziwa that is the water you say that you say lile no because maji is always in plural for g manon class so it will be yale that is the water yale ni maji you say those are water water's water i don't know you know that yale ni maji that is the water and those are water yale ni maji that is the oil yale ni mafuta those are oils yale ni mafuta you say that okay for singular and plural these liquid things maji mafuta maziwa belong in jima plural always Papai. Eh? That is the purple. Oh, that is papaya. You say, you say, uh, lile ni papai. Eh? Papaya. Oh, popo. Eh, that those are uh, papayas. <laughs> those are popos. You say, yale ni ma papai. You know papaya. Okay. And how do you say that is the cucumber? You'll say lile ni tango tango not the music tango no tango in swahili in english is cucumber those are cucumbers will be yale ni matango okay and how do you say how do you say that is the name will be lile ni jina those are names yale ni majina and how do you say that is the kitchen Lile ni jiko. Those are kitchens. Yale ni majiko. You see that? That is how we do that and those. And now, how do you say that and those for any noun class? You know that because we. This is the easy noun class we know. Nn and we are going to take i. I is there, but le should be always there. Ile is that for any noun class singular. And zile will be those for any noun class plural. Okay? So how do you say that is the country? Will be ile ni nchi. Those are countries. Zile ni nchi. That is the pen. Will be ile ni kalamu. Those are pen. Zile ni kalamu. That is a coffee. Ile ni kahawa. Those are coffees. Zile ni kahawa. How do you say? That is a cell phone. Ile ni simu. Those are cell phones. Zile ni simu. And how do you say? Uh, how do you say? Uh, that is chapati. Will be ile ni chapati. Those are chapati. Zile ni chapati. How do you say? That is the beer. Will be Ile ni bia. Those are beers will be zile ni bia. Ha! Oh, I forgot something here. That is the wine. How do you say that is the wine? Ile ni, I write it here. This is very important to know. Mvinyo. And those are wines will be zile ni mvinyo. You see that? Mvinyo is a wine. Ah, why did I... Why didn't I wrote it here? Ah, now you know. Mvinyo is a wine. Wines will be mvinyo. Huh. 
So how do you say in Swahili? That is the table. Will be ileni meza. Meza. Those are tables. Zileni meza. M E Z A. Huh? And now you know how to say that and those for NNN class. Do you know how to say that and those for UNN class? For UNN class, we say subject prefix first and then le. Subject prefix first and then le. So it's ule and zile. You need to remember. You always need to remember this subject prefix. So make your own chart and wipe this. Wipe all this I put. Make your own type chart. Make your own chart and wipe them. Wipe all of them. Wipe this. Wipe everything here. And fill it without looking my video. Just fill it. Fill everything here. Fill how to say you, you, you write, you write, just like I wrote, you just wipe from here, this part, you wipe inside the boxes, you wipe, and then you fill them, you fill them in. And after you fill them in, go watch in my video and you see how many you can remember from here. Do that, promise you, you will do that, okay? I know you can, you will do that. So, how do you say that is a key? Will be ule ni ufunguo. Those are keys will be zile ni funguo. Ufunguo singular. Plural will be funguo. No u for plural. Just funguo. How do you say that is a broom? Will be ule ni ufagio. Plural will be zile ni fagio. You see that? And how do you say uh, that is a soil in Swahili? It will be ule ni udongo. Maybe you want to say those are soils in Swahili. It will be the same. It will be ule ni udongo. We don't say zile ni udongo. No. Because these words in category number three just remain in singular. We don't have plural of them. It just says in singular if you want to make a plural sentence, then you say a singular sentence in Swahili. See that? Okay, how do you say that is a song in Swahili? That is a good song. Will be Ule ni Wimbo Mzuri. Huh? Those are good songs. Will be Zile ni Wimbo Spurious Nimbo. Zile ni nyimbo nzuri. Huh? Do you want to listen to uh, the very good Swahili song? I told you before in one of my videos. Go listen to the uh, Malaika. Right, Malaika? Um, the song Miriam Makeba um, sang this song. Go to your YouTube and write uh, Miriam Makeba. Uh, she... Uh, Sang Malaika song. Malaika. M A L A I K A. Malaika. It's a beautiful song. Very beautiful song. You need to listen to this song. A good song, good Swahili song. That is my favorite one. Okay. How do you say this is the kindness? In Swahili, we'll say that is the kindness. In Swahili, we'll say Uleni Ukarimu. Those are kindness to be zil. Ah, no, 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 no. Those are kindness will be the same. Ule ni ukarimu. How do you say in Swahili? Huh? This is a crack. Will be that is a crack. Will be ule ni ufa. Those are cracks will be zile ni nyufa. I hope you understand me better. Uh, in this video. So now I have a simple exercise for you. I have a very simple exercise for you. Translate these sentences, these sentences in English. Pause this video and translate them for me in English. And then play the video to see if you, get, you, go, you got them right. Huh? And uh, here will be the end of this topic. When I get here, it will be the end of this topic. If you want to know what I did in this part, 
you go watch possessive videos because this video is only for this, these, that and those. And I will end here, this part, only this part. That part, that part, you need to go watch the possessive video. Eh? Introduction of noun class, possessive video. You will understand the, uh, those, 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 those ones. You will understand these. You will know how to do these sentences. Because this is, miss, what I taught you, these sentences have the possessive and you don't know how i did not feel the possessive so maybe they'll be challenging for you if you want to do it do it do them all if you want to do it but if you go watch the possessive video you'll do them better okay how do you say how do you say uh in swahili how do you say uh in english um ule ni umeme in English will be translate it. Pause the video, translate them all, and play it to see how much, how many sentences did you get. Ule ni umeme means that is electricity. Lile ni embe. That is a mango. Ule ni huyu ni kiongozi. This is a leader. Ule ni mkutano, that is a meeting. Ile ni nyumba, that is a house. Kile ni tunda, this is a mango. Hiki ni chuo, this is a college. This is a college. Lile ni swali, that is a question. Ule ni mpira. Ule ni mpira. That is a ball. Kile ni kisiwa. That is an island. That's it. Don't go there. That's it. That's it. So, uh, how do you make these sentences? Plural. How do you make them plural in Swahili? So, Ule ni umeme, that is electricity. How do you say those are electricities? In Swahili will be umeme. You say umeme is here. Umeme. And umeme does not have plural. So it will be the same. Ule ni umeme. Lile ni embe. Lile ni embe. In Swahili will be in plural will be in plural will be lile ni embe. Lile ni embe in plural will be those yale ni ma embe. Yale ni ma embe. Those are mangoes. And how do you make this sentence uh, plural? Plural. Huyu ni kiongozi. Huyu ni kiongozi. Kiongozi is a person, so it will be Hawa. Hawa ni viongozi. Aha. Uh -huh. So, ule ni mkutano. That is the meeting. How do you say those are meetings? Will be ile. Will be ile ni mikutano. Ile ni mikutano. Those are meetings. Ile ni nyumba. That is the house. Ile ni nyumba. How do you say those are houses? Will be zile ni nyumba. Of course, because nyumba belong to any noun class. Nyumba is there. So zile is those. Ile singular. Zile will be those. Zile ni nyumba. Those are um, houses. Ule ni mkutano. Ule is mme. Mkutano. Mkutano is u and e. So, ule ni mkutano will be ile ni mkutano. Ile ni mkutano. You see that? Hili ni tunda. This is a fruit. So, these are fruits will be higher
higher higher ni matunda you see that this is the college this is the college hiki ni chuo plural will be hivi ni chuo plural will be viuo lile ni swali that is the question plural will be yale ni maswali because swali maswali ma class ma which is maswali which is yale i have yale there ule ni mpira that is the ball ile ni mipira those are balls you see that kile ni kisiwa that is a island that is an island so those are islands will be vile because ki kile vile so vile ni kisiwa pro visiwa you see that so this is uh, our topic this and this is our topic this and this that and those we know now to say this and this that and those in swahili so i hope you enjoy the lesson ninafikiri uliburudika nasomo and uh, this lesson was helpful to you somo hili ni msaada kwa somo hili lilikuwa msaada kwako na endelea kujifunza endelea continue endelea kujifunza continue to study don't miss my possessive how to say my yours his hers ours theirs in swahili for things like my chair your table his house my tree how to say that you need to if you want if you want to know how to say that you need to watch these possessive videos go watch it and enjoy it asante sana kwaheri kwaheri